dual-limb, non-invasive ventilation on the SLE 6000. The SLE 6000 can be used for both invasive and non-invasive ventilation. In non-invasive modes, it may be used with either a single-limb circuit or a dual-limb circuit, depending upon the clinician's diagnosis and choice of patient interface. Setting up the SLE 6000 for dual-limb, non-invasive ventilation. The SLE 6000 Infant Ventilator has the facility for four different modes of dual-limb, non-invasive therapy. NCPAP Nasal Continuous Positive Airway Pressure NIPPV Nasal Intermittent Positive Pressure Ventilation NIPPV Triggered Triggered Nasal Intermittent Positive Pressure Ventilation NHFOV Nasal High Frequency Oscillation Ventilation Each mode uses the same accessories and circuits already described in our previous NIV video. Note that Oxygeni, SLE's closed loop FIO2, can be used with all dual limb and single limb modes. To use dual limb non-invasive ventilation on the SLE 6000, we recommend using the SLE MiniFlow. When setting up any new mode, all parameters can be selected and changed using the plus and minus buttons before commencing ventilation. Once all the changes are completed, press tick to confirm. Ventilation will then start. During operation, any parameter may be individually selected, changed and then confirmed. The additional parameters button can be selected at any time in any mode. The contents changing depending upon the selected mode and the relevant options available. Dual Limb NCPAP Select Mode Select NCPAP Nasal Continuous Positive Airway Pressure In this mode, the ventilator generates a continuous positive airway pressure at a level set by the user. On the screen, the user will set TI Inspiratory Time This is for manual breaths and apnea backup breaths. CPAP the continuous pressure to be delivered. PIP Positive inspired pressure to be delivered. O2 percentage to be delivered. The user can also set additional parameters, which are displayed when the mode is first selected. RR backup Push and hold to enable or disable. The default condition is off. Rise time The time to reach the PIP for manual or backup breaths. Trigger sensitivity, which adjusts the threshold for breath detection, which is the effort required by the patient for the ventilator to recognize the breath. The higher the number, the greater the sensitivity to detect small breaths. The ventilator automatically sets alarm limits around the set values which the operator can amend in the alarm panel. Alarms include high and low PIP, high and low CPAP, high RR, apnea time. The apnea alarm can be turned off. Dual limb NIPPV. Select mode, select NIPPV. Nasal intermittent positive pressure ventilation. In this mode, the ventilator generates a continuous positive airway pressure at a level set by the user and also provides, at a fixed rate, ventilation at user-defined positive pressure. On the screen, the user will set RR. This is the ventilation rate. TI, inspiratory time. This is for fixed rate ventilation and manual breaths. PEEP, peak end expired pressure. PIP, positive inspired pressure to be delivered. O2 percentage to be delivered. The user can also set an additional parameter, which is displayed when the mode is first selected. Rise time. The time to reach the PIP for manual or backup breaths. Alarms include high and low PIP, high and low PEEP, triggered dual limb NIPPV. Select mode, select NIPPV TR triggered nasal intermittent positive pressure ventilation. 
In this mode, the ventilator generates a continuous positive airway pressure at a level set by the user and provide support to each detected breath at a user-defined positive pressure. On the screen, the user will set respiration rate. This is the backup ventilation rate if infant breaths are not detected. Inspiratory time. This is the time for ventilation and manual breaths. PEEP, peak and expired pressure. PIP, positive inspired pressure to be delivered. O2, percentage oxygen to be delivered. The user can also set additional parameters, which are displayed when mode is first selected. Rise time, the time to reach the PIP for manual or backup breaths. Trigger sensitivity, which adjusts the threshold for breath detection. This is the effort required by the patient for the ventilator to recognize the breaths. The higher the number, the greater the sensitivity to detect small breaths. The ventilator automatically sets alarm limits around the set values which the operator can amend in the alarm panel. Alarms include high and low PIP, high and low PEEP, high respiration rate, apnea alarm default is off but requires setting, nasal HFOV. Select mode. Select NHFOV, nasal high frequency oscillatory ventilation. In this mode, the ventilator will deliver a continuous high frequency oscillation around a mean pressure. This mean airway pressure is set by the user. And frequency set by the user. The delta P is the pressure that oscillates around the mean pressure. In nasal high frequency oscillation, there is no patient interaction. To operate NHFOV, the user will set the following. Frequency between 3 and 20 Hz, default 10 Hz. IE ratio, the ratio of inspiratory to expiratory time on the oscillation rate set. MAP, MAP, the mean airway pressure to be delivered. Delta P, the oscillating pressure above and below the mean pressure. O2 percentage as required by the infant. Additional parameters which can be set include Psi RR, the respiratory rate for Psi breaths in place of oscillation. Psi TI, the inspiration time for Psi breaths. Psi P, the PIP for Psi breaths. When in this mode, the user can deliver manual Psi breaths using the Psi button. Alarms include high peak airway pressure and low peak airway pressure. Depending upon the modules installed, the SLE6000 can ventilate non-invasively in dual limb mode, NCPAP, NIPPV, NIPPV triggered, NHFOV. All modes allow Oxygeni, SLE's closed loop FIO2 system, to be used to help maintain a stable SPO2. All modes are designed to work with SLE's multi-purpose circuit.